For systems with transfer switches, if separately derived systems are to be joined via a transfer scheme, only one neutral to ground connection must exist. Let me show you how you can accomplish this with a typical power system. So let's just take a quick look at an example system where you would have a transfer switch and obviously you have your utility and your service panel. Off of your service panel, you'll have your grounding electrode. Your grounding electrode conductor will come up to your neutral bar and then you'll have a bonding strap between your neutral bar and your equipment grounding bar. You'll have a feeder come off of your panel board and feed the transfer switch. On the other side of that transfer switch, we have a generator. The generator will be connected directly to the transfer switch, obviously through some overcurrent protective devices, and then your transfer switch is going to supply loads. So this is a basic layout of a transfer switch with a generator in a system. Now, sometimes people will drive a ground rod and bond the generator hull or the, the structure to that ground rod, and that ground rod is supplemental. So it's not required by the National Electrical Code, it is a supplemental type of grounding. A purposeful connection between the neutral, that grounded conductor, and that ground rod system, the grounding system over there on that generator may occur in the field, either on purpose or by mistake. The important thing to understand is when you make that connection, you've established a separately derived system. So when I have a neutral conductor bonded and grounded in two separately derived systems, remember I have it grounded and bonded in my service panel, I have it grounded and bonded in my generator. I need to make sure that I only have one place where that occurs. And to get that done, I need to switch the neutral in the transfer switch. So that means I would need to have, say for example, a four pole transfer switch. If I do that, I put a four pole transfer switch in, I switch the neutral, everything is fine. A separately derived system implies that you would have a grounding electrode system and you would bond the neutral, the grounded conductor, in the generator with that system. If you have a separately derived system, the implication is that the transfer switch must switch the neutral with a four pole transfer switch. But what if I accidentally bonded the neutral to the ground in the generator and I only have a three pole transfer switch? How do I fix it? Do I have to buy a four pole transfer switch? Sure, you could. Or you could simply unbond the neutral in the generator but you must be extremely careful on how you operate a system like this because the return current for the generator neutral will flow back through the other separately derived system or transformer. This is especially important for the electrical workers who will be servicing the equipment.